I learned how to make noiseless Fender-style pickups from Rob DiStefano of Cavalier Pickups a few years ago. I asked him how he did it, and he mentioned using an extra top flat workpiece in the middle of the bobbin so you can wind two coils, one clockwise and one counterclockwise. Then Rob told me he cuts a notch into the middle flat workpiece so the wire has a place to transition between the two coils. I use a fret slotting saw or a 24 thousandths nut file to cut the notch, but anything similar will work. You build the bobbin by using quarter inch spacers, so each coil has a quarter inch of winding space. I personally use 44 gauge wire at the thickest, and even as thin as the hard to find and extremely expensive 46 gauge wire to deal with the extremely limited winding space. The reason I go to these lengths is a bit complicated, but let me explain. The two coils need to be the same turn count to be effective at noise canceling, just like a regular humbucker. However, in a stacked humbucker, which is what a noiseless coil is, 75% of the voltage is induced in the top coil and only 25% in the bottom coil. This discrepancy between the coils, combined with the phase cancellation between the coils, results in lower inductance and a higher resonant frequency. In layman's terms, that means for the same total turn count, a stacked noiseless pickup will have less output and more high end than a regular humbucker or a single coil pickup. Put another way, the turn count of the top coil of the noiseless pickup is all that matters, but the bottom coil has to match it to make it hum canceling. So if you want to get close to the tone of a 9,000 turn single coil pickup, the noiseless pickup should have 9,000 turns of wire on the bottom coil and 9,000 turns of wire on the top coil for 18,000 total turns of wire. That means your target turn count needs to be achieved in a single quarter inch space, a tall order especially if you're shooting for high output and a thick, heavy tone, which I achieved in one case by building a monstrous Telecaster bridge pickup with 11,500 turns on each quarter-inch coil. Even though DC resistance is extremely misleading, the recipient was particularly thrilled when I told him the final readout of the pickup was over 45k. Anyway, back to the actual building of the noiseless pickup. My personal spin on this idea was simply to use a single, unbroken length of wire. Wind the bottom coil first, then wrap the magnet wire around the top bobbin in the opposite direction, and wind the second coil with the bobbin face down. Then, when it's completed, wrap the magnet wire back through the notch again, down to the finish eyelet. Tie it around a few times, solder, and you're done. Using an unbroken length of wire might seem counterintuitive to how it's traditionally been done, using two eyelets each for the separate coils, but to my brain, it's the simplest way. I've also never seen anyone else do a noiseless pickup exactly like this with one unbroken length of wire, so unless someone points out another builder who makes them like this, I guess it's proprietary. For my complete guide on building single coil pickups, I've put a link to the video in the description box. The only difference with the noiseless pickups is the middle flat work piece and winding the second coil in reverse, but the same principles for pressing in the magnets, filing the flat work, and gluing the magnets all apply. Also be sure to check out my complete pickup testing guide to see how I find the inductance, capacitance, resistance, gauss strength, and resonant peak of pickups. I've also provided a link to that video in the description box. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and for more information and guides on building pickups and just more guitar everything, stay tuned, right here on GuitarMD.